morning folks it's a little bit of logging for you today guess I'm gonna come and get in the truck here in a little bit they're going to put it up on a trailer because the tires the tire has a hole in it and uh, so uh, <coughs> I gotta put a new end on that hose. But anyway, it'll hold up enough air to get it up on a trailer. So, yeah, so I'm just vlogging a little bit today. And that thing will be gone. Guy was supposed to, he was supposed to come Monday. It's Sunday now. He was supposed to come last Monday. Never called or nothing. And then they called yesterday. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, they had to go get the title done. So Monkey told them that. And they said, sure, just give us a call when the title's done. So she calls them Monday. And um, said, uh, talk to his wife. And he said, just let, let whoever knows. Let whoever answers knows that you got the title. And she did. And we didn't hear nothing. Then yesterday they called. I said, yeah, you guys are supposed to be here Monday, so. Which we were going to knock $100 off for that tire. I'm not going to do it now because, you know, they're a week late. <laughs> they never called or anything. So I had put the sign back up on it. So I was like, bullshit, you know. So I'm not going to knock anything off that tire. You know, even if they would have just called and said, hey, you know, I'm not going to be able to make it this week, maybe, you know, on the weekend. I would have still knocked $100 off for that tire, but I ain't going to do it now. I ain't, you know, could have at least called. But since they didn't, oh well. So anyway, guys, I'll get some footage of this thing being towed out of here uh, which is a shame because it'll drive just that tire won't hold air long enough to get anywhere you know and I wouldn't trust it going down the highway or even down this road 25-30 miles an hour and have that thing blow out so alright had to move this over here then that thing will be gone so alright guys I'll be back with you when we're getting ready to pull this thing out of here. So, uh, truck's gone. They just went ahead and brought a trailer. Trailered it. Uh, pulling the trailer with a Chevy Denali. So, <laughs> typical Ray at Ford on the back of a Chevy. But anyway, so there's Monkey. Oh, I wonder who you were talking to. I was like, I thought maybe they came back for something. <laughs> truck is gone. Yeah. We are sad. But it had to go. Yeah. Well, they're going to pretty much rebuild it, so. Yeah, they'll take care of it, I think. He said, I got a year and a half. I'm going bumper to bumper with it, so. Yeah, yeah. Is Eddie Bauer. He said, if it wasn't Eddie Bauer, he wouldn't. <laughs> wouldn't care. Yeah, so. I think the boy will like it. Yeah, he's all excited. Yeah, of course. I mean, it's just. I wouldn't like it yeah. if his father gave him a truck. Yeah, right? <laughs> I would have. You know. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. It was pulled out of here with a Chevy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and Marty said, he says that's typical. Ford always in the back of a Chevy. Yeah. That's what Joe always said too. All right. Yeah. So we'll throw some footage of that in for you. They just uh, just pulled it out of here and drove it right up on the trailer. So. Yep. Yep. It's gone. Yeah, we'll be back with you when we're, we're I don't know. I gotta make breakfast. Yeah. At noon. It's called lunch, brunch. We're brunch. gonna have lunch. Brunch. Is it noon? It's past noon. Then it can't be brunch. Well, it can be brunch. Brunch is before breakfast, before lunch and after breakfast. That's right. 
No, it's before before lunch and after breakfast. So it's around 12, 12.30, so it's brunch. So mm -hmm. it's after lunch. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Lunch is noon. Lunch, at, not, lunch is one o'clock. That's when lunch is. No, lunch is noon. Bye. <laughs> if I got any Canadians watching, is that how you guys do it? I've always took lunch breaks around noon. So anyway, we'll throw some clips in there for you and I'll be back with you. Okay guys, so it's like the next day. It's not like the next day. It is the next day. Um, yesterday, I didn't finish the vlog. I got to, wasn't feeling real well. So I just thought I'd finish it today, which is a good thing because I can add this into the video. Now, <laughs> if you guys watch that video, my little rant about not receiving this package, uh, I think it was after the video anyway I went ahead and I got online and I pushed uh, you got before you can file for lost package you, you got to tell them like what's going on I forget what it's called and then wait seven days to hear back from them and then if you don't you well so anyway I, I did that with all my information right so that was Saturday night and then of course you know yesterday the truck and everything sold and, um, so this morning I got an email saying that you know they received my information and they'll get back with me I'm thinking yeah right and it wasn't 10 minutes after that I got a phone call they called me from the post office you know asked my name and I'm like you know well who wants to know <laughs> and she was like well I'm selling so from you know the Inverness post office oh okay yeah yeah and she says you know are you Morty and I'm like yeah yeah that's me and she says uh, you had a package that was supposed to be delivered I said well yeah it was supposed to be it said it was delivered but it wasn't and we had also other mail too and she was like well you know, are there any more names in that household? And I told him, uh, but there was one for her dad. There's one for her mom and one for her dad. And then this thing, well, I told her, you know, well, her, you know, Joseph, I said, he's deceased. So she said, well, I'll just send that back for you. I said, okay, cool. So she was like, well, I don't know what happened. I said, well, what happened was, I said, it's it was scanned in as delivered at 5:29 p.m. and she said yeah well she said it was scanned in twice I said how how was it scanned as delivered twice and she said I don't know because today's a holiday so she said nobody's here to ask what really happened but she said well 
it went to uh i can't give you the numbers but she gave a number of somebody on this street right down the road here and uh i said at 529 she said yeah i said no i said i'm gonna you know i'm gonna i'm gonna contradict that and she was like well that's that's where it was scanned in at I said, well, that's wrong because I said, as soon as I mentioned this, things changed. I said, well, I said, uh, I checked my security monitors uh, from 5 o'clock to 5.45 and I said, our mail carrier never went past this house at that time. It was n never near here. Oh, you got security monitors? I said, yeah. And she goes, oh, okay, well, she said, maybe it's because your house is off the street, you know, sits back. It does, you know, most of these houses set back a little bit, but I said, okay, but I said, my mailbox is on the street. And she goes, oh, well, maybe, she said, maybe they couldn't see your house numbers. I said, I don't have any house numbers on the street. She was like, oh, well, or I don't have any house numbers on the house. She was like, well, that's probably what happened. I said, they're on the mailbox. They're in big block letters on the mailbox on both sides. And then she goes, okay, uh, let me see here. Oh, yeah, it was on a different street. And I said, oh, funny how things change. You know, when you can prove this stuff and you let them know you got security cameras. Real funny how things change. So she said, well, um, you know, I do have, I have your mail here and your package. And, um, you know, it's here at the mail at the post office i said well you can get somebody out here you can call somebody out she's like well i don't know if i can get a hold of anybody it's not my problem i shouldn't have to go get a package that i paid 99 cents for to be delivered a dollar whatever <coughs> to be delivered to my house and then me have to go pick it up it ain't gonna happen she said well I, i'm sure I, I can get a hold of somebody she said you gonna be there all day <laughs> yeah i'm gonna be here all day she said all right i I don't know if they'll come to the door or leave it at the in your mailbox but it'll be delivered it was about a half an hour later it was here and all over a stupid $12 item you know it was uh, $12 and 79 cents or something plus a dollar shipping so it's like you know it's a matter of principle guys you got to stand your ground I know the post office is only a, a mile up the road but why should we have to take time out of our day to go a mile up the road to get our package to bring it back home and mail when I paid a dollar for this to be delivered here? You know, I mean, does it sound kind of petty? Maybe to some people, but to me it's not. I mean, it's a matter of principle, you know. I pay for something to have it being brought to my house. I shouldn't have to go pick it up. Give me my dollar back then, you know. So I said, no, that's, you know, you can have somebody bring it here today. So why it was scanned twice, she said she don't know. There's nobody there to ask. So I don't know. And this is all it is. It's just one of these things, you know, so that monkey, I'm losing some light here. Or my lights. Not right here. I think that should be it. This is all it is. It's just one of these things here. It's a V-bracket, you just stick on your camera and then you can put lights and mics and whatnot on there. Now her camera don't have, it don't have a mount like this. But so I'm gonna, I got another shoe that she can put on to her bottom of her camera and then this will go on it, probably on this side. And then she can put her mics, her lights, whatever she needs to do. This is what we was talking about the other night she was putting mine in her bag well mine's got a hole drilled in it on this side here to hold the uh the ir spotlight for this camera so i'm like no man you know this is <laughs> this one that one goes to this so i was like you know i just went ahead and ordered ordered her one that night because she liked it the way i had it set up and everything so i was like i'll just order her one they're cheap and uh i don't even know where i got mine at but uh, anyway, you know, it's just like, it's just pure hell, guys. I mean, stand your ground, you know, and just, you know, don't take no crap. I mean, I don't care if it's a dollar or not. 
I mean, it's time out of our day that, that you know, we're busy doing stuff and, you know, her mom's got therapies in here. That's why I'm outside. And she's in the middle of a project filming a video. Well, she had a nurse come this morning and now therapy now and it's, you know, what, three o'clock or whatever. And so she's in the middle of something and, you know, I, sometimes you just can't go, just jump in the trunk, go a mile to go get your, your thing that you paid to have brought here. You know, and you shouldn't have to wait. I'm not waiting till tomorrow, no. You can call somebody in, you can get a hold of somebody. I don't care what you gotta do, I paid if it was free shipping, I would have said, okay, well, don't worry about it. Just put it in tomorrow's mail. But I paid for that. I'm not going to go pick it up, and I'm not going to wait. It should have been here. It was supposed to be here Saturday. Here it is Monday, you know? So, but at least they found it. But, because I asked, why? well, why was it scanned and not dropped off then, even if it was on the wrong street? She said, I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. It was scanned as delivered twice, of course, I'm only going to get one of those scans, but technically three times it scanned twice and then scanned back into the post office and there wasn't any information on it. So, you know, don't tell me, well, they couldn't read your house numbers because your house is off the street. The house numbers are on the mailbox. Every one of these mailboxes on this whole street have the house numbers on the mailbox. So, and I got them on both sides, so there, there was no excuse, and they're the big square letters, you know. Um, four inches, I think. Four by two inch. Come on, and it wasn't even on this street. You know, my street name is a different street name from that street. Or wherever it was. How, you know, I mean, and it says right here, my street name. I'm sorry, I can't show you, but it says my street name right here. And the right numbers. So how can you look at this and other two other pieces of mail and you're not even on this street and you scan it as delivered? Why, you know, why would you do that? So I am going to put a complaint in because this is getting ridiculous. I mean, they get paid pretty good. Down here, just to deliver mail, it's 15 to $20 an hour. I understand it gets hectic but that's part of your job you know sometimes you get you get swamped sometimes you get backed up sometimes you have good days sometimes you have bad days sometimes you have slow days where you can just mess around a little bit it goes with the job any job you've got some days are going to be hectic but if you can't read that's blah 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 and you're over here on blah 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 it doesn't make sense so anyway, so this is my like two-day vlog, uh, but I wanted to give you that update, so. Um, but yeah, Monkey's doing a, uh, they're doing, her and her mom are doing a craft, a craft thing for Valentine's Day. Spoiler alert, if you don't see it yet. But, so I'll kind of film a little bit of that here in a minute before I sign off with you guys but I, I did want to let you know give you an update on that I did get my package but like I said it's just you know if if I would have not got on the computer they wouldn't have freaking known it, they, they would just put it on the shelf somewhere you know that's what made her look for it was because I put that in you know that request in to try to find it and then um, you know to try to get this resolved which thankfully it was resolved, but you know, you got people waiting on those checks or stimulus checks, or I guess they're sending out them little cards now. You know, $600 and it's getting, you know, scanned in as delivered, and then you don't get it. How are you going to prove to the IRS, I didn't get that? Well, it says you did. No, I didn't get it. How are you going to prove that, you know? And it could take a year or two just to try to get your 600 freaking dollars. You know, how many people are not getting their, their stimulus because of stupid stuff like this, you know? That's why I said the other night when I was upset, take pride in your work. If you can't deal with something like that, find you a profession that you You know, I mean, it's not that hard. You know, I'd, I'd love to... I would have loved to trade places with people, you know, that said their job was so hard and everything, 
when you know I was lifting 200 pound axles and shit welding cutting grinding cutting myself you know grinding wheels blowing up on me and shit and all they got to do is read something and look at the mailbox you know I understand it's harder than that if you're a mail carrier I understand that you know I had an aunt that was a mail carrier for 20 years I had a cousin that carried mail for 10 years you know um, but even they said it's not that bad they said you know some days you get swamped some days you can be off at three o'clock other days you're not at home till six you know it just depends but they said it wasn't that hard you know and that's before you had the scanners you know I mean if it's not that number don't match what's on the mailbox you're not even on that street why are you going to scan it I think what a lot of them do is I've been told this before but I think what a lot of them do is they'll scan them as they're putting it in their truck or their car or whatever they're using and then that way they don't have to scan them no more they just put stuff in the mailboxes you still gotta look you still gotta read I mean but you shouldn't do that like I said our our weekly mail carrier you know it works Monday through Friday she scans as she's putting it in the mailbox she'll scan each one as she's putting it in a mailbox or if I'm out here I'll go over and get it from her and she'll hand it to me and she'll scan it as she's handing me every piece and I have seen many times on Saturdays I have seen them pull up here a girl and a guy just pull up and put the stuff in the mailbox and didn't scan it so I know what they're doing they're scanning it ahead of time before they leave the post office as they're putting it in the truck that's why you're getting it as delivered when it's not even here yet you know that's what I think is going on a lot of times because they're pretty much just a substitute you know they just work Saturdays or you know fill in if you know if our regular carrier is sick or something don't do that man I mean it's just getting down to where nobody has pride in anything anymore and it's not right what the hell is that but uh, 61 degrees out today so I'm gonna put this back in here so the monkey can get it out so there we go so I was working on Friday I was finishing up my sister's wedding video I worked hard on it I had like 35 hours in this in this uh, video for her I'm gonna make her a CD and uh, it was processing you know it was saving I'm like good I'm done once this is done all I got to do is burn it on the CD it's done I was so proud of that did such a good job on it and bam blue screen come up on the damn computer I'm like ah shit. I'm like that's okay you know when it kicks back on usually I was using uh, the old movie maker which is my go-to um, but what I did was I used a couple of the other editing softwares I have for fades and <coughs> different transitions and stuff like that and then I just assembled on there because it's so easy and it's quick and usually like let's say your power goes out or something when you when your computer comes back on and you go back into Movie Maker, it'll say, you know, you have a, um, you know, a file that didn't, whatever, and you click on, you know, you want to restore this project. You click on it and it comes up. That never came up. I mean, I didn't, you know, I mean, I still got all the footage and everything, but I don't have what I had done. <sighs> 35 hours down the drain. That was Friday, and then Saturday, had this shit happened. So it's back to the drawing board. <laughs> ah, what are you going to do, right? So anyway, I'll be back with you guys in a second, and um, we'll, f we'll uh, finish this vlog up. Hope everyone's having a, having a good year so far, you know? I mean, hasn't been real bad yet, but mostly this male stuff <laughs> but uh you know we just got to make the best of it and you know i try not to let things like that bother me but man like i said 
Many of you guys will go, well, you only paid a dollar shipping. It was only $12 and something for the... It doesn't matter. How many people are paying $12 for something and a dollar shipping and not ever receiving their stuff, never getting their money back? Uh, you know, somebody's making a lot of money on that because I'm, not, I'm sure I'm not the only one this is happening to. So, you know, a lot of people don't get their stuff at all, period. You know, it's just... Uh, you know, when you look at it that way, when you look at the bigger picture, well, it's just that one thing. No, it ain't, you know? I mean, how many people a day, millions of people a day, how many is not getting their packages ever? And they paid for it, they paid shipping. Sometimes you order stuff, you know, that that um, doesn't even, uh, they don't even get it. You know, I, I've got a starter solenoid I'm waiting on that was supposed to be here Saturday. But I'm tracking it, and it's weird. It's coming from Ohio, and where it's coming from should have came down here, but it went it went from like southern part of Ohio up to the northern part of Ohio, Cleveland. Then it, last last time I tracked it, it was in Grand Rapids, Michigan. So why the hell does it keep heading north when it should be heading south? You know, again, a $15 item. Now, that was free shipping, I believe. But there are some things, you know, and I still haven't got it, so I'm going to have to go track it next and find out what's going on with it. Why Why is it heading north to a northern state from where it's coming from, you know, to, before it heads south? It doesn't make sense. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. And like I said, I, I went and checked and made sure the addresses are good. That's the first thing I do. So why, you know, to come to Florida from Ohio, why has it got to go clear up into Michigan, which is north of Ohio? It, it doesn't make sense. It's traveling north instead of south. I, I don't get it. But, like I said, uh, you know, I've bought $5 parts before, and it cost $15 to ship it, you know? I mean, three times as much as the, as the thing you ordered. So, you know, you got to look at that, too. And people aren't getting it. It's like man you know what's going on here you know it's like monkey said the other night well we need to start shipping okay that's us yeah we can you know go with ups or fedex or whatever but the person i'm buying from if they're going through the mail they're going through the mail i mean you know that's that you know it's just like you know i paid extra many times to get something here on time and then it turned out it came the same day as if I'd have just not paid the extra $4 or whatever, you know, whatever it was. And I'm like, that's not fair. They're ripping you off. That's a scam. And if you look, sometimes it'll even tell you. Uh, it'll be here between the 15th and 18th. But you can pay extra to have it here between the 17th and 18th. And I'm like, geez, that's even after the first, you know what I mean? That don't even make sense. You know, shouldn't it be days before or not after? I, I mean, it don't even make sense. It's a scam. It's a scam. And it, it's the government scamming us. You know, and everybody says, oh, there's nothing we can do about it. Yeah, there is if we all stand together and, and say, you know, we're not going to take this anymore. Geez, we just want to get our mail on time. You know, Pony Express worked great back in the 1800s or whatever, and it only ran for two years. I don't know. I don't know. You can pay and get that insurance. That don't help. It still, you know, takes you a year to get your damn money. A year to wait on $12, you know? it's And, and that's why I say a lot of people say, oh, I was only 12 bucks. Yeah, but you're not the only one they're doing it to. They're doing it to this guy, that guy, all over the United States, you know? And stuff that's even going out of the United States. I mean, it doesn't... Stuff that's coming in here on time... And once it gets to the States, everybody goes, well, it's coming from overseas. Yeah, but it came from overseas here on time. But it's after it gets here. Then it takes, you know, weeks sometimes. Weeks. Like, what the hell? I'm supposed to have it in 10 days. I paid extra to get it here in 10 days. We're on the 26th day. <coughs> Nobody knows where my shit is. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'll be back with you here in a second. Thanks for listening to me rant, but... All right, so as soon as uh, the, ther the therapist leaves, we'll uh, 
I'll get Monkey on here on camera and see what's happening with her. <laughs> but yeah, yesterday I just I, I just got sick. I just I didn't even I was like, well, I'll just just a two day vlog. So anyway, we did get the truck on, so you guys saw that. So all right, I'll be back with you. Done today. I mean, you were taking pictures of Laura. Yep. No, you don't take pictures of me. <laughs> I'm not pretty anymore. Oh. What's up, babe? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Just getting some. Alrighty. What you doing there? You making project? Yeah. Yeah, we got a project Try. going. Got a project going. We're trying. We're not very good at projects. No, you guys are great at it if they just leave you alone. Yeah, right. <laughs> Come on, I'm tired now. Yeah. Bye, Mom. Oh, she doesn't show up. Bye, well, Mom. It, hey. <laughs> Bye. Oh, you're leaving? Yeah. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Mom. I'm hooking up here, maybe. This thing's dying, so. Okay, guys. <laughs> All right, so sorry about that. We had therapy for my mother come in today. So, anyways, this is what I've come up with. Um, what I did, I okay guys so i think that's going to be it for my little vlog it was a two-day vlog but it's not a long vlog so you don't get bored this is what monkey was working on i think it turned out very nice look store bought them. she made it so she's getting ready she'll be editing this video and getting it put up tonight so yeah i think it turned out very nice looks good very very nice good job monk yeah, this is the project her and her mom was working on. So, yeah, looks pretty good. Okay, guys, so that being said, I'm going to say thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Thanks for listening to my little rants. Um, you know, like I said, we all got to stick together. Uh, who knows what would have happened if I hadn't went online and, you know, went to the website and said, hey, this, this thing's lost or whatever. Um... <clears throat> You know, we shouldn't have to do that. I understand things happen sometimes, but man, this is getting ridiculous. And I know a lot of a lot of you guys have commented you're having the same issues and stuff, and I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, but they need to get it together. This is, like I said, with you know, with the uh, with these checks or whatever going out. You know, people's not going to get their money that they're counting on. You know, and. <sighs> What are you gonna do? You know. And then if you don't get it, you gotta wait until tax time and file it in your taxes. And and people need that money now, not at the end of the year. You know, it's the beginning of the year. You know, if you owe owe the IRS money, if you owe taxes or something, boy, they're on your ass now. You're gonna pay it. They're gonna get their money, and you're gonna pay it within a certain amount of time. But if they owe you money, ah, we'll get it to you when we get it to you. That's bullshit. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, Legend. I'm gone for now. Have a great week, guys, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.